Hey guys, Kitchens.com, Dan the Wolfman here bringing this video to you today from 1776. Okay, from 1776united.com. Bringing this video to you as well as Dara holsters. Got a sweet Dara holster for my PPQ 5 inch standard. I'll be shooting with three different length magazines today as well. So there's my Dara holster. Maybe you can see that. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Might as well give a shout out to Smith & Wesson just for having good customer service. And even though I'm shooting the vault there today, you know, they were selling rebranded P99s for a while. So, uh, anyway guys, doing my 50-yard pistol evaluation test. Most people just buy a box of 50 rounds. They don't know what to do, right? So I'm going to give you something where you can evaluate pistol to pistol. If you rent a pistol, uh, you know, if you're thinking about what to buy, you can see how you shoot different pistols as well as getting well-rounded skills with your range time. Most people just plug away and they have no idea what they're doing, right? Um, so we're going to be shooting at 3 yards, 5, 7, 10, 12, and 15 with a uh, subcompact 15, you know, plus uh, double stack gun. You only need three mag changes. Okay, so we're starting off 16 in the gun if you're able to. Got 16 in here now. Uh, this is with the 20 round Canic Mag 18 plus 2 McGar Mace. Can buy it together, 20 round Canic Mag. I got a 15 with a plus 2 I threw on it, and I actually have a 15 I haven't modified today. So that's what we'll be doing. Fast 5, Fast 5. So draw and Fast 5, Mozambique, Mozambique. 7 yards of moderately paced 5. Very strong hand to weak hand. So every time and shooting five, uh, except for the very end. Five, and five at 10 yards, five and five at 12 yards. Two headshots, reholster, two headshots at 15 yards. Okay, so that's what I got going on. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Last week I did the SIG P320C, which I carry more often. Uh, this is a five inch. Um, you know, but with the jacket, can carry it. I hope to do more so next winter. And, uh, um, yeah, anyway, let's get started. Check out the P320C. And interesting enough, I mentioned Lucky Gunner in that test, how he had did uh, certain things with different pistols, and people should pay attention to that, because obviously you shoot better with bigger pistols. Everyone does. Okay, people don't realize that. People don't practice with that or pet carry with that in mind. There's certain realities that people need to realize. Uh, and then he put out a new test with the uh, MMP this week, a 50-round test. What do you know? So it's kind of a good idea. It could be modified. You could do different things. But having a 50-round test is something good. I don't expect people to watch all four videos uh, film in a day. But what I will do is I'll film around later. You can compare the scores. People can see I believe got a 474 out of 500 real well. All right, so I am hot gun loaded with the holstering. You see I'm doing it from concealment outside the waistband today with the DAR holster. Go to darholsters.com. Throwing the jacket open. I'm kind of going from a lowish ready, not a total um, fence, but with my hands kind of up here and to throw open the jacket. So uh, I will be using splits to get some times with someone shooting next to me. Uh, it's not going to be all that accurate. But hopefully I can get my draw times down. That's what I'm most concerned about. And I kind of know uh, a somewhat realistic pace that I'll be going at, you know, pretending that someone would be shooting back at you if you're drawing your gun and, and using deadly force, uh, most likely. So, um, let's see if I got it down. All right, three yards. Typical engagement distance, nine feet or less, people. Okay. Totally cold. Ready and should read it. See if I can get some shot times today, guys. This is called splits. Hmm. Wow, it's really bad today. Maybe because I'm next to the wall. Maybe I'm not going to get anything. I really wish he had put me on the other lane like I asked. I don't think I'm that slow. Being next to the wall. I really hope it wasn't that slow. You 
know, but I don't do dry fire and drawing practice with this holster enough because you know I'm not planning on carrying it other than today. Um, yeah, I don't think this is accurate, but hey, guys, you know, in the last video, I got pretty accurate times on some and not on others. Uh, those splits are too low as well. There's no way. A couple, a couple of those last shots, I know the splits were more like 22, not 44. So, that sucks getting Echo uh, because I'm close to the wall. So, um, unfortunately, I can't ask him to change my limit now. Kind of make everything crazy. I'm just going to worry about my scores, guys. I'll go on the timer and I'll just worry about my scores. You know, but I went pretty fast there. See, I, you know, I could have slowed down a little bit uh, to not get that flyer. Last time I got all fives. All tens, all dead in the center, all five, uh, dead ten or ten, both the first times out with the 320 last time. So, yeah, th those times were not accurate. It was a full second behind, which I highly, highly doubt. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Should you ready? still a 49 now um, I got a very bad grip uh, with my second hand that time stop the timer and see what that was like mm, and that might have actually picked it up more accurately at that time I'm having to change the intensity range really strange because the wall uh, my draw might have been slow at the time, might have been a whole two seconds to the first shot. That's really bad. Splits 20, 34, 30, 26. Uh, also pretty slow. So, 312, that's not that far off from the 2.92 and 2.84 I did with the SIG last time. Considering I did not get a good grip with my left hand. That's why you train. Okay, so let's move it back. To, let's do, move it back to five yards. I should have six left and gone. So I can do a motion beat. So now the motion beat. Double tap to the chest. And then uh, headshot. Okay, it looks like I got it right there. It's close enough to the five yard line. Okay, Mozambique time. Ready? Ready? Hey, did I actually get 30 points that time? Good. I didn't actually kind of rush that a little bit more. Let's see, and I didn't record all the times because the times, shot count three, that got it right. That got it right, whoa, and uh, yeah, so 3.32, that was faster than the six. And that my first, uh, for my first round in the morning. If you like to be faster on the draw, I train with this holster enough. I know before I carry it next winter uh, for about a month and a half, and it's cold enough. Uh, 3.32. It's exactly 3.32. Okay. So let's see. Sorry. Try to record a little bit of data today. Or I guess I just did it on the video. 3.32. Draw speed, let's do another. Mozambique. Let's wait a second, see if you see it. 10 more seconds.
Okay, we're gonna do it. You ready? Okay, it looks like I got a 10, a 9, and a 10. Oh, actually, I think my this will be empty. Let's see the times. Looks about the same. Okay, so it looks like it's picking it up okay with the setting. Uh, I've never had to have the shot intensity range that high before, but I think again, because it next to the wall, 2.01, it's a hundredth of a second similar to the last one. It's really slow, guys. I want my times to be 1.6. Uh, last time they were 1.8. Maybe I've taken a little too long to acquire that front sight to stabilize uh, when I push out. So, 3.27. Uh, yep, and that was just a tad faster than last time. I didn't even record the first times. But, uh, anyway, guys, if you haven't used splits, if you're not using anything like that in your training, yeah, definitely should, people. So, I've already loaded up my mags. I can put this back to. You. Five yards. That's about right. Might be a little far actually. I can tell on the ranges. Okay, let's let that settle down. As I pull off a reload. Uh, let's see, it looks like I'm going to 15 round mag this time. 15 in it. Okay. So, everything uh, until the 15 yards was slow, like moderate speed 5. So, moderate speed 5. Now let me get back to my training. For the first string, and then I got to uh, weekend, weekend, weekend after that. So one string of five at seven yards. Okay, one string of five at seven yards. And it's bouncing up and down. I'm okay with that. Should you ready? It looks like a little high and left, so a lot of nines. <laughs> it should have been tens. All right, now I'm gonna do three strong, uh, strong hand, one hand only. Pass it over to left hand at seven yards. Should we times even though they're slow I'm um, solve the data really really slow hand and off I think that was like exactly about the same uh, as the last time seven years I'm quite sure anyway hopefully in the replay we'll see where the hits were nothing's too bad today a little too many in the nines. Whew. 
Alright, so time to move back to 10 yards. I think that's about right. Let us settle down a second. So if we can delay, guys. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll just talk a minute. I hope this is something, you know, don't just go to the range and just plug away. Um, you know, you definitely want to have a plan of action, and you can change things up, but try and compare with different pistols. Try to compare with different size of pistols. You know, I was 2.9 inch last week. This is 5, five inch. Next week, I might shoot the Springfield 3 inch barrel, then the Smith's 3.5 inch barrel. Uh, and then maybe go to some smaller stuff even after that. So, anyway, a little shout out to 1776 United for up with this nice hat. And, um, to our holsters, uh, I do really like this holster. I just haven't trained with it enough. Uh, guys, my, my draw time is slow. That is me, and that is not uh, using this holster and belt combination enough. I'm not a competitive shooter. Um, I can't over more Actually, I think I should have put the in my belt loop a little bit farther back this time. It's in line at the 3 o'clock, um, but I've done more training with it back at the 30, just when I do crazy stuff like put four or five pistols on me and shoot them all, one or the other or the other. So, um, anyway, moderate five at 10 yards. I think I should have on left and pistol. Yeah, it looks that way. Okay. Lower the draw this this range that's not not bad uh definitely should probably be getting those down to like 0.6 splits i would guess that is too long between shots uh at 10 yards though 30 feet mm. might be okay at 12 yards i think i was at one second last week so i'll have to compare what i did at 10 yards last uh week with the uh sig um but anyway uh, so what's the total time on that? Is it six? Six seconds? Four or five shots at ten yards? That's not bad data to have. I should have recorded more of this uh, today, uh, but I didn't realize I didn't get such an accurate time for the first couple of times. Um, something seemed off. So, uh, I, I also am not seeing where the hits are. I'll have to replay it back. Hopefully I'm zoomed in enough to replay it back. At least everything's in the 9 and 10s. Last week I did have one fire down on the 7. That hasn't happened yet. I shouldn't drink myself. So, there might be an 8 right there. Yeah, that's an 8. So, 10 in the center. 9 in that ring. 8 in that ring up to the throat. And then 7 and 6. Pretty bad. So, 1-8 um, today. But it still looks uh, yeah, fairly... Yeah, that's not a good So... Uh, load. This is with a 15. I put a plus two on. Didn't see that. Anyway, just so that's with a 15 plus two. I added on Macar base. Uh, all this and all the pistols I put them in. I've thrown it on a Smith. I've thrown it on these. I've thrown one on a Springfield bag. Um, so anything that fits. Looks great on the Smith. I made it plus two. Just had to shave it down a little bit. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Okay, again, moderate five at ten yards. Oh, 
you here to read it. Hmm. I thought it went faster than last time. That's telling me not. That's interesting. It's really slow. Slow, smooth, smooth as fast. Okay. His total time was six seconds last time, 6.56. That's funny. I felt like I was pushing myself a little bit. Okay. Interesting. Good hits. really bad. All mostly upper thoracic cavity. Some stuff a little too low for my liking, but that's also the target. I'm gonna get some, I think I'm gonna order uh, some other targets soon. All right, where am I guys? I didn't record all the hits. Down to 12 yards. I'm gonna try to get it right there on the spot based on the shadow. I think I'm at 12 yards. It's okay, I think I'm at, I think that's in 12 yards. So, another five. Should run it. Actually stepped off the X that time. I wonder if that threw my shots a little bit differently or not. Let's look at the times. Times are similar, it's in that same range. Um, but that's a little bit two yards farther out. So 6.12 for five shots at 12 yards. It's gonna be okay. Maybe okay. Up close and personal, my draw speed to be too slow again today. I'm gonna do some more training. Oh, and I got a flyer. Son of a bitch. That was probably my, uh, because I did step out that time. So, I wonder which number of the shots were in replay. Should be able to see. Alright, let's try it again. I will not step out this time. I thought it was a big step. Okay, shooter, ready? Time, time is very similar. A little faster on the first shot for 12 yards. Okay, that's kind of a good thing. Uh, last shot was way too long. Don't want that. Okay, 6.24 though for five at uh, 12 yards. Now push back to 15. Right. Thought about doing 25 yards, but I picked 15 even though I was at the, the rifle range right next door, like literally around the corner. Yesterday, uh, last week, I wanted to do 15 yards because not everyone has longer than that available to them. And that's a really long shot for, uh, you know, concealed carrier uh, anyway. You know, even, even 15 yards, 45 feet is really pushing it in the realm of, you know, outside the realm of most shooting any longer than that is definitely a rarity. Uh, and while this PQ might do that with a five inch barrel, you know, shooting a shield or a PPSM2, uh, or something else like that, a small single stack, the, 
uh, those would be harder shots. Actually, that's what I do if you had the long mag in there. But anyway, I digress. I need to get four more rounds out. So. about those the last four I'm gonna need to load missing around in the box but I found it alright so I gotta load a mag with four more bear with me a second you guys got a long video today So draw two headshots, draw two headshots. Just for long range accuracy test, you know, going to your most unlikely scenario. At this distance, looks like I got a couple minutes left. 